In this tutorial, we're going to talk about rulers and guides. Now, rulers and guides are very useful in a sense that they help you position items or text, items such as text or images on the screen on a on a blank work page. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to choose the default photo size file. Here we have it, and I'm going to go about just you know typing away. And then I'm going to type another set of text over here. I'm going to make those much smaller, say about 24. And it's, probably, it's just going to be gibberish. All right. and just contents to have. Now, once you have this, you can try to, you know, justify the positioning on the page if you want and every now and then you can pretty much eye things out and they'll work out to, to, to your advantage but in some cases they just won't work out so let, let's try to import a picture over here and try to align everything on a page I'm just gonna choose the baseball diamond and place it here it is Reduced it to this size. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to apply it. So here we are. Now I want to place this in a position where you know everything lines up. Say if I was doing um, the cover of a book or something of that nature, or, or even an article. We will have to use the ruler. Now for those who don't even see the ruler up here, you can make it appear by going to Windows sorry view not windows view and then rulers alright and you notice in my case when I clicked on rulers it all went away so if you were to go to view rulers it will automatically come back in place so once you have your ruler you can determine well where do I want my page to start okay you can either click in the middle of the ruler and just drag down and as you drag down you're gonna see this line appear this very thin crawl uh, you know this very thin line and when you release it becomes blue it tells you hey okay you know what this is a line or guide that you can use to place your items on your page also if you go to the left hand side the, which is the vertical uh, alignment you can click on that ruler as well and drag out and also create another guide so now you have something to you know guide yourself along like take the text for example if you wanted to have this touch this text um I'm sorry let's take our text right here I can bring our text right there I can take our picture I can flush it and if you notice every time the picture gets close to the guide it snaps into place that's happening because on the view snap to guides layers and documents have been turned on especially guides so any guide this picture goes close to see that it will just snap to it like that okay so let's go to the other text at the bottom here you can move that and the text will behave just the same so now we have something you know this line up pretty decently and uh, if you were writing columns well it'll be nice to just drag out another guide say right here this will be your gutter and then you can add in more text over here or well, let's go in and add in another picture Can have this picture flushed up here. All right, and I'm just going to duplicate this text, and I'll just have it right over here. Well, you get the point when it comes to aligning, and there we have, you know, our alignment. Now, when you print, these lines aren't going to appear. 
they are just there to guide you on how to place your items, your text or images on a white background so you have some sense of orientation. Now to get rid of the guidelines, take this for example, if I were to grab this and accidentally uh, bring it right there and I want to get rid of it, well, you can actually browse over the guideline and you notice the cursor turns into a double cursor, a double track, all right, with arrows pointing in both directions. You can click and drag the guideline from here. And if you want to get rid of it, just take it right back to where you got it from, completely off the stage, and it's gone. If you want to get rid of all of your guidelines, you can go to View, Clear Guidelines, or Clear Guides, and they're all gone. 